he had an MRI this morning and we'll have the results this afternoon. Looked okay. You know, he didn't practice, but you know, we'll, we'll see. I don't think it's serious, but we'll see. Are you still optimistic that Andre can play on Friday? Yeah, Andre practiced today. He looked better, so um, we'll, we'll just take it day by day. We'll see. And a lot of the guys after the game last night talked about uh, communication breakdown, especially that fourth quarter there. Uh, is there a way to overemphasize what Draymond and Andre do in that regard? Well, yeah, they're, they're obviously um, kind of the linchpins to our defense, um, but that's no excuse. I mean, we still have to communicate and make the right reads and that kind of stuff. And I, I talked about conditioning last night, and conditioning is not just physical, it's mental, too. And uh, we were not ready mentally to play that game, even when we weren't tired, like, you know, early in the game. We're, you know, committing fouls that uh, took us out of our rotation. Steph picked up a couple that he didn't need to. And, and then we're swimming upstream because our rotation is is, um, is kind of messed up. Um, and there were other lapses to, um, you know, after made baskets, uh, transition threes for them. We, you know, we neglect to pick up. That's not physical conditioning. That's mental conditioning. And uh, so that's where we need to get better, and we will. Is that just a matter of time, or is there anything specific that you need to do? Um, I think it's it's mental work. It's uh, you know we when I say we're not in in great shape, I can't come in here today and run them because they're tired from last night. Um, so the physical conditioning will come as we play these games in the next week or two. But what we can do is really lock in mentally when we're watching film, uh, understanding what our focus is, um, game plan. Um, and that's, it may not seem like it's a difficult thing to do, but there's a different mentality from summer to training camp to regular season to playoffs. You've got to keep getting sharper and sharper. That's where we can make the most improvement right now is just being being sharp mentally. Does the uh, early road trip not kind of make things ideal in that regard to get back, uh, to get into the shape that you want to get to? Um, I don't even think of it that way. It's just, uh, you know, you play the schedule that's in front of you, and in some ways we're still in training camp, you know, in terms of what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, so that means we got to use these games uh, to get better and and hopefully win some of them while we're at it. Today, more focus on video or, or more video? Yeah, we only did about a half hour on the floor, uh, mostly skill work. Uh, watched a lot of video. Uh, and la la that game was it was a weird game because we were we were shooting the ball well and scoring enough to win, but we never had control of it the way we normally have control of a game with defense, with toughness, and and um, I'm a baseball fan, so I'm watching all the playoffs. It was like, last night was like um, our starter went out with an injury in the second inning, right? And now you gotta go to your bullpen early, and, and now you, you can't get the matchups you want, and you know, maybe you're close, you've already used your setup man in the fifth inning, and you gotta bring your closer in, or like everything was out of whack from the beginning. And, um, and so we never really got into the rhythm um, that we needed. We had a lot of combinations out there last night. That, um, and obviously some of that was, was the injury to Andre and the injury to Draymond. But uh, we had some combinations that we've never even had before. But that's good. It's good for us. Great, great game for uh, Jordan Bell and Looney to see that kind of action. Um, Patrick McCaw, you know, still, still a young player. Playing him down the stretch was great. And, I'm all about the big picture, and um, I'm not too concerned with the loss. I would have preferred to win, obviously, but it was a good game for us um, in many ways because we see where we can get better, and our young guys got really good experience. Late uh, third quarter, I think. Yeah, it was the other ankle. Yeah, yeah. So he just slipped on the floor, and he's shooting down there right now. So. We'll see if he's okay, but um, yeah, it was a tough break. He sprained both ankles in the last week. Did, did, he, practice, sorry, did he practice today? No. Uh, does Draymond's status affect Congress' potential status? Uh, no. I mean, if, if Andre's banged up, he won't play. And we'll just make do with what we have. Um, so hopefully Andre 
will be okay. I, he's been getting better in the last, uh, every day he's been getting better. He's pretty confident um, that he's on the right track. So hopefully he'll play, but we've got a back-to-back -to -back too. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe just say, hey, only one of the two. Possibly. Um, we haven't gotten that far yet, so we'll figure it out. I thought he did a really good job staying in front um, of Chris Paul and Harden. And uh, Houston's probably the hardest team in the league to guard um, because they're so unconventional. And they kind of take you out of your traditional defensive concepts. And so you have to have bigs who can stay in front of people and use their length. And uh, Looney did a really good job with that. Uh, Jordan did at times, and then there were other times where he struggled, typical rookie. Um, but I felt really good about Looney's performance, and he's earned those minutes, too. He's had a great camp, and um, it's important to us to really develop our, our young players, and I'm not afraid to throw any of them out there crunch time, and I thought it was a good experience for, for Looney and for Jordan. You said, uh, you know, Kyle Trouble kind of threw it off, some of that was using his best reach in. Steph? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's the main thing is the reaching. Uh, last night it wasn't so much the reaching, it was just decision making. His first one, he, he got on the wrong side of Chris Paul uh, and he held him. Um, and then with eight minutes left in the first quarter, he's already got one. He tried to jump, uh, was it Chris at half court? And I thought Chris traveled, but whether he did or not, shouldn't make any difference because Steph should not be out at half court, uh, you know, picking him up and risking a foul. Uh, the thing with Steph is, you know, I told him this today, like he was a plus 17 at halftime in 11 minutes and he made one shot. Uh, like he was, he had a horrible half by his standards, but he's a plus 17. Like he's so good and he causes so much disturbance uh, for the defense that we just need him out there. And um, he, so he's got to stay out of foul trouble. Sometimes it's going to happen. Uh, but last night was, was his fault. I mean, he didn't need to commit uh, the first two fouls. The third one was shaky. He might have reached a little bit over Anderson's shoulder. Um, but don't reach, right? If you don't reach and you stay out on the floor, uh, we are way better when Steph Curry's on the floor. I know that's probably news to you. but. Um, yeah, nobody has figured that out yet. I have. Yeah, and, when uh, you, when you <laughs> see teams, you know, trying to get the switch onto him, and he was saying last night, like he likes that. Yeah. He wants that. Does that kind of, you know, go against your whole step, go get power trouble if he's going to go to one on one with some of these great offensive players? As long as he doesn't reach. I mean, I, I like when teams try to do that because it generally takes them out of their rhythm. Uh, but that's kind of how Houston plays anyways. So it's different with Houston, but I thought Steph did a good job on Harden last night. He basically stayed in front of him. He made a couple tough shots, but um, that's what's interesting is um, in the past, maybe the foul trouble has come on reaches. And it wasn't reaches last night. It was just poor decisions, and, and, um, and Steph knows that. But, you know, that the thing that I, I try to impress upon him is that um, He's just so important to us. Um, even when he's not making shots, he's one of the few guys in the league who can affect the game so dramatically without even making a shot. Um, and so when he goes out, um, not only does it do we lose the gravity that he provides to our offense, but it changes our rotation. And, so, and um, now we're getting into some different combinations that we were not planning on, and, and so. And he wasn't the only one. KD got in foul trouble. Draymond got in foul trouble. It was a theme during the preseason. We fouled way too much. And uh, I know we're focused on Steph's fouls, but it's really the whole team. We've got to, got to defend without fouling. Speaking of uh, those new rotations, I know you don't expect Nick Young to lead the team scoring every game, but just tell us a little, back, a little bit about what he brought to the team. Well, he did what, what he's been doing in this league for a long time. Um, that's why we brought him here to make open shots and uh, he was great. Kept our offense going when we were in that foul trouble um, and he had a hell of a game. And what's exciting is that Nick can get a lot better too as he gets more comfortable with what we do, uh, the way we play. What did you see from him defensively? 
He's pretty good defensively. He's got the size and the length to challenge shots. We want him to be more active. Uh, we want all of our guards, guards to be more active, rotating, rebounding, loose balls, and uh, that's what I'm focusing on with Nick, and I've talked to him about that. Does he seem like one of those guys, the lights come on, the yeah. ball goes up, and he's, he's good? Yeah, yeah. He, it's no question there are certain guys who just play better when it counts, and uh, I think he's one of them. What's that? He's getting there. He's getting there. I did. I did. I thought it was a perfect uh, metaphor for our conditioning level as a team. <laughs> did you almost, you almost turn around and uh, go in the game? I, I turned around. I was like, Clay, would you have a few extra burgers last night? What happened? That was great. I love that guy. I saw him actually at the top of the ramp uh, when I was pulling in, like, you know, Two and a half hours before game time. It's hilarious. Did you do a double take then? Or not really? Just laughed. Yeah. I just laughed. By the way, do, do you guys know that, that Looney and uh, Nick Young are cousins? Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know that. I, I meet Nick's, I meet Nick's uh, mom last night, and I know Loon's mom. Oh, yeah, they're, they're first cousins. Like, I had no <laughs> idea. You guys knew, and I didn't know. That's pathetic on my part. <laughs> How much does the mental conditioning stuff have to do with the fact that you guys are so deep and you guys know the talent that you guys have at your disposal? I don't put those things together. I, th I think it's more than anything, it's just um, we need more work, you know, practice time. Um, and uh, we will get um, to the rotations that we need. And I think we would have gotten to them last night if we not had the foul trouble. Um, but it doesn't have anything to do with our depth. It has to do with our the, the lack of um, work. Uh, we need we need more work. How much does the abbreviated preseason play into that? The, the uh, trip to China. I I vowed last week that I would not reference China anymore. There was it was about a week ago, so I'm I'm not going to mention China. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.